In this video, we are going to talk about glycol makeup. Before we talked about the losses that happen in the sour gas. So we have this sour gas stream. If we open it, we will find that the composition contains some amount of glycol. This is a small amount, but still there is a losses, okay, in the vapor phase. So in this case, we need to add this amount again to our TEG stream or glycol stream to make sure that the amount of TEG entering the field is constant. Okay, so in this case, we are going to create another material stream of glycol that the, that will feed um, the losses of um, the TEG. Okay, so F4, we are going to create another material stream. In this case, we are going to name it makeup TEG. Makeup TEG because it will only work if you need to add a makeup or to uh, increase the amount uh, that you lost okay the temperature will be 15.56 degrees Celsius and you have a composition of 0.01 okay this is a mass fraction so we need to enter here and enter a mass fraction so this one will be 0.01 and for the TG it would be 0.99 okay so now we know the composition we don't have any idea about the pressure so we'll keep it okay and go back to the simulation environment okay as a simulation environment we need to mix this uh, makeup with the original so we need to add a mixer mixer okay we are going to add the mixer to the simulation environment and open it after opening it, you will have this, okay, this mixer, you will have the inlet of the makeup TEG, we are going to mix it with our lean uh, TEG, okay, this is the lean, before feeding this uh, regenerated uh, glycol, you need to make sure the amount is constant, okay, and for the outlet you will you are going to send this to a pump to be pumped to your absorber okay this is the inlet and the outlet you have a, a mention here it's not solvent okay we are going to parameters and here you are going to equalize okay this is a good point not to forget to equalize all okay for the worksheet or you need you have an information related to the TEG to bomb if we open it here you are given that the standard ideal liquid volume flow of this uh, stream this is the standard okay we have this one this value okay is equal to 0.45 meter cube per hour okay so we have this information after adding it it's converged okay and if we go back we will have our mixer here i think the mixer has a problem one or more feet has a negative flow okay yes, this is a problem we have a negative flow here so if we go back to check here we will check these two streams because those those are the two streams that we are mixing here this is the lean and the makeup the lean flow is 3.7 so this is not negative but for this one it's negative okay why is this negative because this flow molar flow is higher than this one this is 3.7 and okay those are the same so the problem will be in the makeup okay in some cases you can change it or you can leave it and after finishing you, you will check if it works or not okay after that we have as i mentioned before we are going to add a bump the bump must be installed to raise the pressure of the TEG before it re-enters the contactor okay so here we are going to add a pump our pump here okay and this is our pump we'll add it here okay so the pump will be open by double click and here we are going to call it P100 as it is the inlet will be TEG to pump and our outlet in this case will be the out of the pump so bump out okay bump out enter 
uh, energy stream is required so the energy stream will call it pump HP or horsepower HP or horsepower okay still you don't have the duty but you don't have to enter the duty sometimes you can enter maybe the pressure so in this case we are given that the pressure out or you need to pump uh, this fluid to six to six thousand two hundred and seventy four kilopascal okay in this case after entering the pressure or the exit pressure from the pump the duty will be calculated okay now after that we are going to add another heat exchanger so why it is needed after that to call the lean TEG as I mentioned before you have uh, several times actually in once in the BFD uh, that we have seen before after the pump we add another cooler to uh, lower the temperature uh, before the TEG enter the contactor okay so to provide the, the cooling we are going to add another heat exchanger uh, in the BF we have a process flow diagram we actually had a cooler but in this case we have heat exchanger okay heat exchanger we are going to take our heat exchanger and put it here okay uh, we open this one and for this heat exchanger we have a connection for the tube side you are going to have the out of the bomb and for this one this will be our TEG that we are going to recycle to recycle or return back to our column okay for the shell side you will have the dry gas and the sales gas okay you have a dry gas and the exit you will you are going to sell it to it will be your sales gas okay you have unknown delta B again you should go to the parameter and it shows sample weighted as we have done before and you need to enter the pressure drop in the shell side and the tube side for the shell side you have a delta b of 34.5 kilopascal and for the tube side you need to make sure that you are entering the pressure drop right okay so it's 69 uh, delta b okay it's still under specified so in this case we have information related to the TEG to recycle this is our, our stream of TEG that we are going to recycle and we know that it will exit at temperature of 50 okay so here we are going to add 50 after that if you go back you will have the heat exchanger will converge okay the link glycol inlet in the TEG contactor this is this stream okay okay let me close this one and this one this is your TG stream okay so this stream will come from this one this one will be recycled so we need to recycle here and we send it back to our field so in this case to recycle we need to add a recycle operation so here open here and we write recycle and we take it back and put it here okay now we can recycle by open it by double click after that we have a recycle we go to the connection and as a connection page okay you have to add the inlet select the inlet to be TEG to recycle okay this is the stream that we are going to recycle and in this case the outlet will be as we mentioned before the TEG feed this is the feed that we are going to uh, fit to the absorber okay here from parameters you need to make sure that as the parameters at the section of variables here you have everything like weighted sensitivity so here we have a flow and the enthalpy with a sensitivity of one this is a given information so we will change this one and this one to be one and after that the composition sensitivity is 0.1 okay and so we have here we have a change at three okay so after that we have this one done okay so if we press continue it's okay it's all okay so here if we close we have our recycle 
So now this field will be recycled from this one that we have regenerated. It might look complicated here, but after finishing, everything will make a sense, okay? For example, we have here a heat exchanger to lower the temperature again. We have this, tem this heat exchanger to increase the temperature of the regenerated field, okay? So now, if we are asked about what is the hydrate formation temperature for the cells gas, okay? So, in this place, we need to find our cells gas, or you can go to stream analysis, and hydrate formation and after that you choose the stream we are asked about the cells gas not the dry gas so for the cells gas okay after that we have now created um, a stream analysis we can check it here hydrate formation for cells gas and as the performance you have a temperature okay so the hydrate will could be formed at negative five degrees Celsius and we don't have a pressure here okay uh, the pressure of the hydration formation isn't given for this stream okay